Good evening, distinguished viewers. I welcome you back to my channel. My name is Emmanuel Eze, and I bring you um, daily or frequent updates about um, information that will help your study abroad dreams uh, and bring it to pass. Um, here in this video, I'm going to present to you 10 um, universities, would that be 10 or 11, um, that have no application fee or have a currently running application fee waiver program. And all of these are in the United States of America. This is um, application o'clock in the USA and uh, Canada. And I invite you to go through with me to this video. It's going to be short. I'm just going to show you the university. I mentioned the university names and then I put them in the link box also. Um, you can find them there, but just look closely at this page and go through with me and then uh, you could delve uh, later um, uh, to see what information applies to you and which university is suitable for um, your further research. Um, welcome. I thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. I thank you for following. I thank you for clicking the notification button. I thank you for liking my videos and commenting and asking your questions, uh, which I've been able to also uh, provide answers to and um, engage uh, in the comment section. And so I will go straight into um, this university and I wish and I hope that you find one uh, that relates to your your dream course and you go ahead and apply without um, spending a dime on this. Now the first university um, is this St. Louis University and here uh, I'll just highlight the relevant portion uh, of this which says there is no application fee when you apply for undergraduate admission to St. Louis University. So um, I would advise that you go to St. Louis University and check your specific program of interest to know if that um, um, this university offers your course of choice and go ahead and make your application to St. Louis University, especially for uh, undergraduates. Now, um, the next university here is the Southern Southwestern University, the Southwestern University. And here under this application checklist page, uh, don't forget my aim in this video is to show you um, that these universities have no application fee or they make room for waiver. And so I invite you to keep watching to see exactly where you find uh, this information when you go to the web page and here in the application checklist page of Southwestern University you're going to find here a clause on the application for admission that notes as Southwestern does not charge an application fee students should not request fee waivers in submitting applications to Southwestern. So this is very clear. There's no need to ap apply for any waiver. They do not charge an application fee. So go ahead, check for your desired course of study and ensure to study their other requirements and go ahead and apply uh, to Southwestern University. You don't have to pay any amount of money as application fee. Now, here we go, we're in Harvard and the School of Public Health. And here, this is a bit tricky, you need to pay attention. Um, in this School of Public Health in Harvard uh, University, um, there is a charge actually for the first program you apply to and $55 you know, dollars for each additional program. And there are options and programs, assistance, available to reduce the cost of your application and you're encouraged to apply. However, read this very important part. So fast application fee waiver. So beginning at the start of the cycle, so fast, which is like School of Public Health, where we are now in Harvard University, 
provides a limited number of fee waivers to qualified applicants on a first come first served basis and it says each fee waiver covers only the initial application fee so if you're applying for just one course here you are entitled to apply for this but it's on a first come first served basis and they are financial based service based and international based fee waiver so go ahead check it out and see what you could get from uh, SOFAS, the School of Public Health uh, in Harvard. Now, again, I like the University of Southern Maine, clearly in bold and large fonts, no application fee. So they say we do not require an application fee when you apply for admission. And so the application fee is automatically waived for all undergraduate and graduate applicants, including in state out of state international reapplication and reactivation applicants so get into southern maine university and check out the programs they have and see if your course of study is there meet check the requirements gather the documents and make your application next this should be number four university of dayton university of dayton um you are invited to apply for admission and here the number one uh, benefits in the easy application is no application fee and then it is also offering you test optional admission you don't need to write it's optional to to submit standardized test scores and here it says you don't need any separate scholarship application and so admitted students are automatically considered for up to $124,000 in merit scholarship. So you could do great things at the University of Dayton. So dare to try. Go ahead, hop in to the University of Dayton and see what they have for you there. Number five, University of Rochester. University of Rochester here. Um, that's where we are. And we are specifically in the School of Medicine and dentistry whereas application deadlines are indicated and actually uh, going up to you know uh, february interviews will be held and when the fall semester begins or well, pay attention if you apply by first of december this year the fee is automatically waived so it means that those who apply early will get the application fee waived and understand that admissions are accepted on a rolling basis here on a rolling basis it's, it's very critical so the earlier you apply the you have the opportunity of getting your application fee waived and of course there is a likelihood you will receive funding um, you'll be considered for funding if you apply earlier than those who would apply later so check out university of rochester and see uh, the School of Medicine and Dentistry, and also if this applies to uh, other colleges. Now we go to this number, I've lost count. This should be number one, two, three, four, five. Am I right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, number seven. The seventh university is the University of Tulane, Tulane University. And we are specifically in the School of Science and Engineering. And here, for application fees, no application fees are charged for the School of Science and Engineering PhD graduate programs and certificate programs. And there is an application fee for most of the MS program applications uh, to applicants who are not alumni of uh, Tulane University. So please check this out and see if it applies to you, if you can be a beneficiary of this. Of course, these specific programs uh, may not be relevant to you, but it can be relevant to someone else. So if you know someone else who is in this field, if you are not, you can forward this video to them or the link or whatever. The important thing is to pass this information across so people will seize the opportunities that are available. And we go to the next video now, the next um, school now. And here we are at the University of Wisconsin, the University of Wisconsin. I'm using the German pronunciation of V for W, the University of Wisconsin. And here there is a condition that is attached. There is a bonus that is specified. 
that the graduate school will pay the application fee for all applicants who attend the open house and begin the application on or after August 15th. Already we're after August 15th. Now the second um, um, criteria you ought to meet is attending this graduate school virtual open house 2022. What is the date? It's right here, Thursday 27th. Uh, of October 2022. This is going to be, um, I'm recording this video on the 21st of October, and this is going to be expiring in the next six days. So attending this open house will grant you an application fee waiver. So dive into the University of Wisconsin and see what courses they have, and if your course is listed there, and you meet the requirements, the basic requirement, kindly attend this open house so you could have the privilege of getting your application fee waived. Now we go to number eight and we're here at um, the Boston University and here in this uh, page I'm here to show you that they're making much efforts at the Boston University to reduce financial barriers uh, for uh, to attending graduate school and information on fee waivers for students applying to um, all other programs should be directed at this email whereas those who are applying to the graduate school of arts and sciences will receive application fee waivers application fee waivers and there are um, the, the steps are here clarified especially for u.s citizens or permanent residents and non-us uh, citizens you are eligible to ap apply for ap application fee waiver and there are two options for non-us citizens you either apply for sponsorship by outside organization or you apply to be recommended by the department and in this case you have to contact your department directly to recommend you for an application fee waiver in the Boston University uh, application fee waiver program. And you can indicate here, if you are going by the recommendation of the department, there is a, a pattern to present this fee request, application fee waiver request. And you have, you have to follow these instructions and present this information in a convincing way as possible, especially the statement um, of financial hardship about 100 to 250 word statement which should be well crafted to get your application fee waived for you at the boston university boston university and here we are at indiana uh, wesleyan university and clearly here there is no application fee no required essays act sad not required and the admission is on a rolling basis so please what are you waiting for dive in here see what programs they have check out the academic uh, 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 admissions requirements and then put them together go ahead apply you never can tell number i lost my counts probably number 11 or so university of lynchburg apply for 2023 no application fee and if you go down here, it's saying you are just one step away from applying to this university. Start your free application by creating your login uh, below under first timers. Go ahead and begin to apply. All undergraduate programs are covered. All master's programs are covered except master of, you know, PA medicine. I don't know what PA medicine would be. Uh, if that's your field, I'm sure you know better. All doctoral programs, especially except uh, the Doctor of Physical Therapy program, um, is excluded from their fee waiver. So go ahead if this suits your um, your course, your chosen course uh, of study. And here, last but not least, university has a waiver code: the Northern Arizona University. And here they are looking forward to receiving your application. I do not know what you're waiting for as a graduate student and the special advantage you receive includes a waived application fee which is currently pegged at $65 by using this fee waiver code. So go ahead, kindly 
use this code to apply and you'll also be given a timely admission decision. I hope you'll be able to find at least one university among all of these which you know offers a course you are interested in and you'll be able to freely apply and you know, try to get admitted and I'm sure you'll also find funding if you put up a competitive application uh, by following through this process and that will be all for this video kindly subscribe if you have not done so so that uh, you support this channel to bring about helpful content and um, and, and recommend the video to others who will be in need of it and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye